Hey there, high performance golfers. Do you guys like change? Do you guys like working on new things? Do you guys like doing things that are hard and difficult that are new? Come on now, nobody likes change. But we all love what's on the other side of that change. We all love what's on the other side of what's hard. All right, and today I'm gonna share with you a story of, you know, one of the most powerful conversations that I had with one of my students today, where he's a 10 year old or 11 year old junior golfer. And you know, just like all of you, just like everyone, we all want to have a really, really good golf game. We all want to win championships. We want to win golf tournaments. We want to shoot really low scores. We want to get excited. We want to be motivated, inspired to achieve big things, whether those big things are being a lifelong golfer, those big things are is getting that D1 scholarship, those big things are PGA Tour, LPGA Tour, Tour Champion, whatever it is to you, right? it requires to you to do Things that are required now you know i have this 10 year old and he has this really really big dreams wants to to win golf tournaments he's pretty new to golf and it's just getting into the tournament golf right and like it's super nervous but he loves like he really loves the fact that he knows it's coming right and really gets into that mood like mode where like when he when he gets one like he can visualize and and like you see the smile on his face when you ask what would it feel like to win like he can visualize it and, and get there and i have no doubt that he's going to get there right so we had this powerful conversation because right he was getting caught in this trap right and this trap was this trap was doing only the things that we love doing and sometimes you know, sometimes it does require, like, if we can go faster by doing the things that we're good at, like, by all means, go ahead and do it. But sometimes, like, we have to challenge and look at ourselves. Are we doing what's required to get to that next level, right? And sometimes the, the hard thing is just facing the fact that it's hard, facing the fact that things are going to be different. We got to let go to our ego, let go and submit to ourselves that, It'll be okay if we struggle for a little bit. It's okay if we take away a little bit of the control to learn something new, to be open to something. And right when we started, like we made, you know, radical changes that got him such great results. And you know, once we get into the certain level, right, then we start being comfortable. So you know, there's definitely different levels that we get into, right? If you're like in the bottom, right there, there's like highest level possible right like prosperity and growth and everything up here and there's some things that are great over here right and then there is like the bottom of the pit the dirt all of the junk the swamp down here that we get into and so when we start to look at these three different stages it's so easy to go from and again i don't want to say it's easy but it's easier to go from like when we're in the swamp when we're in the dirt when we're in the mud to go to that next level because of the pain that we're in, right? The struggle, the challenges of, of, of shooting those high scores, of hitting those bad shots, missing those cuts, not performing like we, we want to, watching everybody like just take off and, and we're the ones struggling, like being in that bottom and, and feeling that pain, right? We do what's required to get out of that pain and we hit this level of comfort because now things are good, right? And as much as we don't want to go backwards, like we are good in this this mid level of, of just being good. But if you're here watching this, then you don't want to be good, right? You want to be great. You want to be outstanding. You want to get prosperity and, and get to this next level, right? But what happens is we get stuck here because it's good, it's comfortable, and it's better than being here. And so we, we fall through this cycle of getting here we're, we're hitting some good shots we're playing some good rounds and then we cycle back and, and we start losing and we get back into this this dirt this swamp this mud and we don't like it and then we get back and we do what's required to get back to this good and we start getting into this cycle of like good and then gets worse and then gets back to good and this this false impression that we're getting better but when we look back at the last month the last two months six months year like we feel that we're getting better and and when we look, we haven't yet moved out of here into our next level. It's because what gets us into that next level is that straight uncomfort. It's the difficulty. It's looking at like what, what are the things that I'm supposed to be doing that I'm not doing. 
All right, what are the things that I know if I do it well, if I know if I get that, you know, that action and that, that outcome done, then that takes me through. But then it's gonna get me to give in to the thing and let go of where I'm comfortable. And so, you know, with this 10 year old student, like he was in a place where he's comfortable, right? He came from like super nervous, feeling judged by everybody to now like he's excited to go play, right? And whether he shoots a really good round or a, a struggling round, where he comes out of it and he has this positive outlook, like I know what I can do better, but the growth happens when you start looking at um, what am I not doing? What are the things that are difficult, right? Which requires change. And the conversation that I had with him today, and it took a while for us to have it, and we spent some time talking about it, so it really landed with him because we all want greatness. We all want that next level. We all want to shoot, and we all want to, we all have these big dreams and you know we fall in love and we get passionate with the vision the dream and when it comes to doing the hard work then we're like oh, I don't know if it's for me oh, I think I can do it this other way what it just means is like you got to go face that fear and just kind of like battle and get through that thing and that discomfort right because at the end of the day what really landed with him is for you to be in another level of your golf game, another level of your life, you have to be a different person, right? What, what makes us struggle so much is we don't wanna let go of who we are. We're thinking that I'm gonna be who I am, I'm in this comfortable place, and let me just go learn the skills, let me go practice a little bit more, let me go learn this tip, this tactic, this drill, and like pound that thing out in my own comfortable world, and that will get me to that next level. And the truth is, whether you're playing beginner junior tournaments, you know, intermediate or advanced tournaments, wherever level you get to, right, you have to be a different person, right? When you look at where you're at today and you look at where you want to go to, let's say you're you're looking at, you know, intermediate junior tournaments and you want to look at college level tournaments, right? We start looking at, am I, you have to be a different person to be competing in that next level, not just skill-wise, like identity-wise, your belief-wise, where right? the things that junior golfers do in that mid-tier, you know, tournaments, they're not the same behaviors as the college prep tournaments, right? It's a different person. Like the social environment's different. Like in those mid-tier, you're a lot more social. You're having fun. You're, you're messing around during the tournaments, right? You're getting distracted with things here and there, right? You're, you might be digging holes with your golf club, or you get definitely like the type of nervousness is different. When you get to that college prep tournament, you see less of that. Like you're not lying on the ground. You are more, you know, you're more, fo not more focused, but you're more intentional with the things that you're doing, right? Your level of fun is a different type of fun. The social conversations you have is a different conversation. Like you're an entirely different person, right? Looking from the college prep to the, actual college level players look from the college level players to the tour players like everybody wants the dream of playing awesome golf but at every level you have to become somebody different right so you have to give in and let the old person die off so you can create yourself in a new person like give in to the fact that right I have to give up what's comfortable so I can learn what what my next level of comfort is and live into that role unless you can let go of where you're at today and really really know that the things that got me to where I'm at today are not the thing that's gonna get me to where I want to get to tomorrow it's not the things that's gonna get me the college scholarship right to make it on tour to win on tour right are you still trying to do the same behaviors and get there with the current identity and belief system that you currently have because if you are Right? There's not enough tools, or not, there's not enough skills that's gonna, you'll be able to put in there to, to accelerate you to get there. Right? And you're gonna be going in this cycle where like you're complacent, you're good, you have some really good rounds on the top portion, but when it gets bad, you come down and you're just getting and digging yourself into this, this endless like hamster wheel that you're not even moving, right? And so when you find things are getting hard, you find things getting difficult, you don't want to do the things that's required because it challenges you. It, it makes you like step into your and let go of your ego. Right? Think about the transformation that needs to happen. You have to get to your next level. 
right? You have to become somebody totally new in order to level up. It's not the skills that you're looking for because when you get and you become the person that you're required to be at that next level, then it's about learning the skills and you'll do what's required to learn the right skills and the tools to get there, right? So level up yourself, right? Let go of your ego and get yourself to be that next person. Do the behaviors, the actions, and then the skills will fall in, right? And so if you feel that this resonated with you, right? If you're a junior golfer, you're a parent of a junior golfer, and you find that your child is struggling and they're just going in this endless loop, right? I have this free training that I'll put in the description below this, and this free, tra this free training that I'm giving you guys, click the link, it's gonna share with you the three things that your, your current junior golfer or your child is currently doing that's holding them back from their next level, holding them back from being a champion, and what to do instead. All right, so go ahead and click that link below. And if you're not a junior golfer and you are an adult golfer, you're a competitive golfer, a tour golfer, a pro golfer, click it anyways because the strategies that's in this masterclass that I created is for everyone. If you're looking to achieve new levels, heightened levels, and continue to grow and expand, right, then this training is for you. Right, if you're a parent of a junior golfer, it's made specifically for you. If you are an adult, a college player, watch this presentation through the lens, right, of the person that you are, and you, I promise you, will extract the value that you're looking for. So go ahead, click that link below or in this description and check out that free training, absolutely free. Made it for you guys. Go ahead and enjoy.